Hello everyone, uh, this is Dr. Sean Chung. Uh, this is the SAT books, uh, test 14, module 2. Okay, so today we're going to do odd numbered questions. Okay, so you guys read question number 1. Okay. Two thousand kilograms of vegetables. You want to sell seventy percent at the local market and distribute the rest equally among four local soup kitchen. How many kilograms of vegetables will each soup kitchen be receive? Okay, this is this one, right? Seventy percent. Local market, the local kitchen is what? 30%. 2,000 times 30.3 equals 600. But equally divide into 4 over here, right? Okay, can you stay? 4 local soup kitchen. So you can divide it by 4. Equals 150 dancer. Okay? Option D. This is not hard. Alright. From here, number three. How many meters are equivalent to 50,000 inches? You already know that, right? Unit convert factor. 50,000 inches. You multiply inches over here, okay? One inches, that is equals 2.54 centimeter. So you can see that in the inches out. Now we cancel the cent centimeter, right? So, 100 centimeter, that is equal to 1 meter. So, centimeter, centimeter out. So, 50,000 times 2.54 over 100. Now we have only 1 meter. That's right. You need to calculate this one using your decimals. Or calculate, you can see that, right? 500 times 2.5 or 8, 12, 7 digits, okay? So equivalent, simplify, right? Or this is just standard form and descending order, okay? First, we can check it out. This two. y squared, 3y minus 4y is negative y. 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. Open the parentheses. 3y squared minus 4 and minus 2y squared and plus y and plus 6. Okay? This is the minus is what? Minus, minus, or plus. Now simplify like terms of your y squared. You have one y terms, 6 minus 4 is plus 2. Okay? That's still easy. Okay? Number 7. So we have a quadratic equation. Okay. So for what value of x we days can you find the value but not y, okay? What value of x y reaches minimum? You already know the way the minimum. The graph looks like this. At this vertex it has minimum, but you're gonna find right the value of this x. This x coordinate must be well on this one. X of a symmetry. Okay, find the X of a symmetry over here. 3X squared, you have to expand everything, okay? Minus 24X and plus 40. Where is the X of a symmetry? Negative B over 2 times A. 24 over 6 equals 4, right? So when X is 4, it has minimum value, okay? Oh, this is number nine. We have percentage, that's the frequency. Okay, not number, in percent. Here is the question. Six more people prefer soccer 
over basketball. How many members are there in the club? Yeah, we have a soccer and basketball. Soccer is a 35%. Basketball, 25%. What's the difference in there? 10% difference. Okay, yeah, 10% difference. 10% of the members in the club is, I'm going to use the X, that is equal to 6. Isn't it 6 more, right? So x equals 0.1x equals 6. x equals 6 over 0.1 is what 60. So there are 60 members in that club. Here is number 11. This is gonna plot with the line of S bit. Which of the following could be the value of Y when X is 20? So using line of S bit, we can find just approximate value of Y, okay? Actually, the value of Y of line of S bit when X is 20. The equation of this line of S bit is 65, okay? We can do it. 65 and minus so what's the slope this is a 5 this is 2 5 over 2 right so that is 2.5 oh it is 5 over 2 x that's the equation so when it's equal to 21 is the value of y 65 minus 5 over 2 times 20 this is 50 right so 65 minus 50 is what 15 but that's no answer Right? But we're gonna find the way the scatter plot. Scatter plot not always on the what, line of S bit. Very close to this one, right? Which one is close? Yeah, maybe 14 is close to 15. Okay? That is the best answer. Right here is number 13. Lines L M parallel. What is the value of A plus B plus We have two transverse sides inside the parallel. Make one more parallel line. This one, this one. They're supplementary. Some of this angle is 180. That's the formula, right? The other one also 180. Here two. Here. Okay. So total is 360 distance, okay? Number 15. We have a graph in the XY plane. Which of the following lines is perpendicular to the graph? This graph, find out the lattice point. This point, this point is lattice point. This is 3, this is 1, slope is negative m equals negative 3. The slope of perpendicular to the line, to this line will be negative reciprocal, right? Negative one third, it should be negative one third. Positive one third, okay? Yeah, negative reciprocal. Which one has slope of one third? This slope is 3, right? y equals 3x minus 1. This is a y equals negative 3x plus 4, negative 3. This one is 6y, negative 6y equals negative 2x plus 7. You can divide by negative 6. But that's the one third, right? Okay, choice C is the answer, okay? This is negative one third. That's not the answer. Here we go, number 17. So we have a matter of the function over here, initial rate is 30,000, increased by 2%, you can see that, right? 2% every month, right? M is a month. This one is number of months. 
So which of the following the functions best models the number of active users of website? Tiers. If the number tiers give just replace with to the months, that's it, okay? Tiers. One year is 12 months. Okay, you can use it, right? Convert it back to 12 months. Okay, all right. That is a 12 T months. This number into the here, right? Only this exponent accept one number of months. Okay, so we put it equal to this one over here, right? 12 T, nothing changed. Okay, all right. Option C is the answer. Number 19. Emit midpoint AD AD three times. Okay, this AD is three times the length of BC. If this is one, this is three times three. Or you can use by 1.5 and 1.5. You can use this one. Okay. But to make it integer that is better, okay, you can use integer. But I'm gonna keep this one. It doesn't mean nothing different. They're gonna share the same height. The ratio of the base is 1 to 1.5 to 1.5. The triangles are not similar, right? That's right. Just what? They're gonna have the same height. But in this case, what is the ratio of the area? Still 1 to 1.5 to 1.5. Okay, nothing changed. But this area is 10. The other area is how much? 15 and another 15, isn't it? Okay. What is the area of trapezoid? All together, right? 15 plus 15 plus 10. If this is a 10, this is a 15, this is a 15. Right? So, what's the answer? 40 is the answer, right? Okay. Over number 21. So it was a linear equation which is uh, in standard form. Translate 6 units up index y plane. 6 units up means y. y replaced with y minus 6. That's a 6 unit up, right? This number is positive. Six unit up. This number is negative. Six unit down. So this is y plus six, okay? Don't be confused. Just replace this one. So 5x plus seven times y minus six. That is equal to 24. That's the equation. But that's when you find the x intercept because y coordinate is zero. How can you find the x-intercept for this number y equals 0 over here? So 5x minus 7 times, 7 times negative 6 is what? Negative 42. That is equal to 24, right? So 5x equals 66, x equals 13.2, right? At this point, y coordinate is 0, okay? So that's the answer. 13.2. There's the number 23. A minus B equals a plus 3. That is a complex number. They must be equal. Equivalent. So real equals real punch. Imaginary equals imaginary. Okay, so real is, real is over here. A minus B. That is equals real. Where is real? This is real, right? All this is imaginary part. So, 3i, that is equals a plus bi, so 3i root 5, okay, i is out, 3 root 5 equals a plus b. By a square minus b square is what? <clears throat> a plus b times a minus b, right? So a plus b is 3 red 5. a minus b is 1 red 5. Okay, so 
15 is the answer, right? Options is the answer. Move on number 25. You have three circles there. Two circles is identical. Let's inscribe the L of each identical circle. This L is 20. Bracket. Also 20. What is the L of say the region this side? You can see the small circle and large circle, right? The ratio of the, the diameter. If this is the diameter is uh, one, one, like diameter two, right? Yeah, the ratio of the length. Because the circles, they are always similar, right? One, two, one, two, two. What is the ratio of their area? One square is one, one square is one, two square is four. If this area is 20, also this area is 20, the other is 4 times is going to be 80. Whole area of this circle is 80. I said there we take a 40, okay, right? Minus 40. Okay, so the area of the said the reason is 40 is the answer, okay? There is number 23. XY plane displays two points with the graph of linear function and a quadratic intersect. This is intersect of here, here. So vertex is given. RS is one of the points. This is not this point, okay? Here, down or here. Okay, not, they're not asking you this point. They're asking for this point, the X coordinate, okay? What is the value of R? This value for intersection is what? Can be solved from the equation, right? Intersection of these two graph. One is a quadratic, the other one is a linear. We need to find their equation. Okay, from here, how can you find the equation of this uh, quadratic? That, that is the vertex that you give us. You can set up this y equals A is what? Scale factor, x minus 3 square and minus 9. That's the vertex point. But we need to decide the value of A. Choose any point. You can choose the 0 and 0. When y equals 0, x equals 0, right? Minus 3 square x equals 0 from here. Minus 3 square is 9. And minus 9. So A equals 1. You know that. So the equation of this line is y equals x minus 3 square and minus 9. What about this one? How can you find this? We need the slope. One point is given. Where is the other point? This one? No, this one we don't know. This one? Yes, we can see that. Okay, when x when y goes there, we can find this by row. Or you can solve this one when y goes there, okay? We have two values, which is x goes zero or six. Or you can use this x symmetry. From here to here is distance three. That also distance three, right? So 3 plus 3 is what? This coordinate is 6 and 0. From here, we can find their slope. Slope is what? y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. You know that that is equals to 1, right? 6 over 6, that is equals to 1. y intercept negative 6, the equation is this is what? x minus 6. Yeah? Now we got two equations. Just find out their solution, right? Intersection. Okay, solve this one. X minus 3 squared minus 9 equals X minus 6. X squared minus 6X plus 9, negative 3 squared plus 9 minus 3, that's the 0. That is equals negative X minus 6. Standard. Minus X both sides, negative X plus 6 both sides, plus 6 equals 0. Can you guys factor this one? Yes. X minus 1, X minus 6, equal to 0. We have a two value. When X equal 1, when, or X equal 6. X equal 6 over here, but we're going to find this intersection. This variable R equals 1, right? When X is 1, 
Okay, y is a negative 5, right? Yeah, 1 minus 6 is negative 5. But this gives you this value, okay? So x is 1 is the answer, okay? Okay, that's all, okay? I'll see you in next. Okay, so we're going to finish a module uh, test 15 module 1, okay? All right. Thank you. I'll see you next time.